Don't eat too fast. Henry, come and have breakfast. Yeah, Mom, I'm here. Come on, don't eat too fast. I'm almost late, Mom. What time is it now? It's 6.50. Oh, no, I missed the school bus. Don't worry. If you miss the school bus, I will drive you to school. Eat slowly. That's great, Mom. If you eat too fast, you'll have a stomach ache. Yes, I know. But don't you go to work today? Why are you still at home right now? Today I'm off. I'm free today. Well, great. So today I'll be taken to school by you. You look so happy. You can't trust him. Topic, English is easy. Don't eat too Do fast. you remember Alex? Alex? Why do you mention him? Yesterday, he texted me about borrowing some money. How much? $200. You didn't lend it to him, did you? I did. I think he's having a hard time, so I agreed to lend it to him. Oh, God. You can't trust him. Why? He's my friend. But you don't know much about him. How can you easily lend him money? Well, I just think he had no choice but to text me like that. He has a bad <laughs> reputation for borrowing money and not paying it back. Really? I never knew that. You trust people too easily. The result will make you happy. Hey, do you want to make pottery? Of course, that sounds fun. It's really fun. You know how to make pottery? Yesterday I went to a workshop about pottery and I tried to make it. Sounds great. I found it really interesting. This is a vase that I made myself under the guidance of the instructor. Wow, you're so good. But I'm afraid that I can't do it. Don't worry, there are tutors there and someone to guide you step by step. Really? Yeah, do you want to go? I have the link to register here. Yes, I want to go. It's easy. I'm sure the result will make you happy. I hope so. How much do I have to pay? Hi, I'd like to book a room for three nights. Certainly. We have a few different options available. What kind of room are you interested in? Just a standard room would be fine. Okay. Our standard rooms are priced at $150 per night. So for three nights it would come out to $450. Oh, that's a bit more than I was expecting. Are there any other options that are a bit more affordable? We do have a smaller room available for $100 per night. It's not as spacious, but it might be more in line with your budget. I think I'll go with that one. How much do I have to pay up front? You'll need to pay for the first night in advance, which comes out to $100. And then we'll charge your credit card for the remaining two nights when you check out. Sounds good. Can I pay with my debit card? Of course. Let me just process the payment for the first night. Here's my card. And there you go. All set. Thank you so much. Jump in with both feet. Why do you always argue with Jessica? She always annoys me. I can't stand her anymore. Ah, well, as I see it, you are too fastidious. Anna, I think you shouldn't jump in with both feet. Do you know what she did to me? What did she do? She took my workbook and copied it without my consent. 
After I confronted her, she denied it, so we argued. I didn't know that. When you came, I was talking loud, so you just thought I was the one who started it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. I just wanted to ask and reconcile the two of you. Thank you, but it's okay now. She will never act like that anymore, I believe it. I think I can do it myself. Are you all clear about the tasks we have to do? Sure, quite a lot, but I hope we can do it well. Hey, do you think the video should be worked on by two people? What do you think, Julia? Do you feel it's too hard to do alone? Well, I think I can do it myself. Are you sure? The video will be about ten minutes. It will take you a week. Really? I don't think it takes that long. Well... I made a three-minute video before, and I had to spend nearly three days doing it. I'm afraid you can't do it alone. So can anyone help me with the video? I have experience. I can help you. That's great. So Hannah will support Julia, okay? Sure. Come take a walk with me. Why are you off today? I'm not in the mood to go to work. What's wrong? Nothing. Just some problems with my boyfriend. Oh, about love. But you don't look good these days. I think you have some health problems. Maybe. I usually have a headache. I'm under a lot of pressure. Well, take a rest, girl. I want to go out. Come and take a walk with me. But I'm at the office now. How about after work? That's fine. Anytime. Okay. So after work, I'll come to your house and we'll take a walk. Sure. See you then. Her blood pressure has gotten really low. What's wrong? I don't know. She's nearly fainting. Let me see. What's wrong with her? Her blood pressure has gotten really low. Why? I guess she skipped her breakfast, so she has no energy. Ah, I got it. Because we've walked a lot and she hasn't eaten anything. I think so. Does anyone have candy or something sweet? For what? Eating sweets when blood pressure is low will help. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I have some candies here. Good. We can win this match if we work together. Do you know there is a badminton competition at our school next week? Yeah, I know. But there are only categories of man-woman pairs. Exactly. So I have an idea. What's that? I know you're really good at badminton. I'm also keen on it. How about playing together? Do you mean we will register and play as a pair? Right. We can win this match if we work together. Sounds great. I agree. Yeah. So let's practice a bit to get acquainted. Sure. The match is on Friday, right? Yes, we have a week to practice. I believe we can win. Hope so. How's your research going? Jackson, how's your research going? Well, I'm still doing it, but it's quite hard. Right. I'm also tired with it, but I can't give it up. I asked Mrs. Sarah to help me. Luckily, she's very dedicated. That's great. I'm doing it by myself. Really? That's why you find it so hard. No, 
because my topic is hard. Why did you choose it? I don't know. I can't remember why I chose it. I think you should ask a mentor to help you stay on track. Yeah, maybe you're right. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video. How much is this book? What are you doing? I'm reading my new book. What's its name? The Little Prince? Haven't you read it? It's quite popular. No way. I've read it many times, but this book is a limited edition. Oh, really? Yeah, you can see that it's a hardcover book. Wow, it's amazing. Right, it's very difficult to buy it. How much was this book? It cost me nearly a hundred dollars. Oh god, so expensive. But I'm really keen on books. I don't spare money to buy expensive books. I see. I want to do it immediately. How's the lesson? Do you know how to bake a cake? Well, I really enjoyed this lesson. I love it. That's great. I should have taken this class earlier. It's more interesting than I thought. Good. I hope you will make a cake for me one day. Of course. How about now? Really? Sure. I want to do it immediately. My pleasure. Do you have all the ingredients at home? I don't have sugar at home. We should go buy it. Okay, let's go together. How can you complete all that so quickly? I have a lot of work to do, but I don't know how to start from scratch. What are you saying? Stop lying in bed. Get up and open your laptop. I know, I know. What should I do first? Well, tomorrow is the deadline for our geography assignment. Have you done it? I've done nothing. What? Are you kidding me? When will you start? Now? How about you? Have you done it? Yeah, I've done it. You're not human. How can you complete all that so quickly? No, it's normal. The problem is that you didn't start. Okay, I got it. I will do it right now. Good. The story ended in the simplest way. Hey, do you know the conflict between Andrea and Mina? Of course, I was there the whole time. Me too, but I didn't know what happened at the end. Why? I had to come back home. What happened after I left? Well, they quarreled and had a little scuffle and some teachers came. Yeah, I left when Mr. David was coming. Yes, then he was able to stop them. And then? Then they apologized to each other in front of everyone. So what made them fight like that? They misunderstood each other. Only David knows because he spoke directly to them. I got it, so it all ended well. Yeah, they quarreled and they apologized, that's all. The story ended in the simplest way. I had a hard time making this. I have a present for you. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy to hear that. You know, I had a hard time making this. I love you, but how did you make it? 
Well, I saw this model accidentally on the internet. I intended to buy it for you. But why did you make it yourself? I just thought that if I made it for you, you will be happier when you see my effort. Oh, so sweet. It has some problems, but they're minor. I hope you don't notice them. No problem. This is the first time I received such a wonderful handmade gift. It's quite difficult to make it, but it makes me feel great. Thanks again. It was certainly worth it. What's wrong? You look so tired. Right. I'm not tired. I'm exhausted. What did you do last night? I spent my whole night reading all the articles as well as newspapers about the topic of the assignment. Oh, really? Yeah. I found lots of useful information, but I feel exhausted now. Why don't you continue reading today? Well... I find it very effective to spend time organizing information continuously. I know. The most important thing is the result. Right. The result was good. Well, it was certainly worth it. You worked so hard. Keep it under your hat. Sarah, it's Alex, Andrea's boyfriend. Yeah, why are you calling me? I want to ask you something. Go on. You know, Andrea's birthday is coming, but I haven't decided what I should give her. Well, she likes a lot of things. I asked her, but she just said, No, you don't need to buy me anything. It's fine. She always thinks for you. I know. So I need your advice. You are her best friend. Well, Andrea is the happiest girl in the world when she has a boyfriend like you. Thank you. She loves makeup, so I think that makeup items are the best choice. That's a good idea. Thank you. And please keep it under your hat. Of course. I won't tell her. That girl is so strange. Have you met our new classmate? Yeah, let me remember her name. Anne, right? Right, she's quite pretty. I was impressed by her smile. She's got a bright smile. I can see it, but that girl is so strange. Why? Yesterday was her first day at school, but she hadn't prepared anything. Really? Yeah, I sat next to her. She didn't bring her textbooks, books, or pens, not even her backpack. Wow, so how could she learn? She did nothing in class. I can't understand her. Neither can I. Anyway, she was kind of sociable. She talked to everyone. That's a good point. I've seen that guy before. Is that guy looking at you? Hey, you! Behind you. Can you see him? Yeah. Do you know him? Why is he looking at us? Oh, that's Alex. I've seen him before. Alex? Who is he? We met each other at a party quite a long time ago. Maybe he still remembers me. I got it. But are you close? No, we didn't exchange numbers or instas. Well, that's so strange. Yeah, but I think I should go to say hello to him. Sure, I will wait for you. I will come back soon. Can I talk to you before you go home? And can we talk now? Oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Sarah asked me to do something for her. 
Oh, I understand. But what happened? Is there anything bad? You look so serious. No, no, I'm just a bit tired. I will talk to you later. What is it about? Our project. I have some plans next month and I want to talk to you to arrange the time properly. Ah, okay. Can I talk to you before you go home? Yes. What time will you go home? I'm not sure. When I finish my work. Is 5.30 p.m. good? Yeah, maybe. Okay, if anything changes, please call me. Sure. It was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you. I was so glad to meet you too. I can't believe there's a person who matches me like you. Thanks to this conference, we got to know each other. Right, maybe it's destiny. Do you have time now? Yeah. Do you want to have dinner together? Of course. What do you think about Chinese food? Wow, I'm thinking of Chinese food too. You can read my mind, can't you? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Let's go. Can you please repeat that? Miss Sarah, can you take notes and write the minutes of this meeting for me? Sure. Great. Let's start. Okay, that's all for today. Are you all clear about that? Sorry, Mr. Alex. Yes. You speak a little bit fast. I can't take notes of all the deadlines for the departments. Can you please repeat that? I got it. The deadline for the HR department is Wednesday. The sales department is Thursday. And the finance department is Saturday. Okay, I finished. Thank you so much. Good. Please send me the minutes of the meeting via my email. I will do it right now. I think I will send it to you in the afternoon. Good. As soon as possible. Hannah, I'm Jenny. Sorry, my mom is at home. Ah, is this Henry? Yes. Where is your mom? My mom is going to the supermarket. Why are you holding her phone? She left her phone at home. I heard the phone ring, so I answered your phone. I got it. When will your mom be back? I don't know. She went about 30 minutes ago. When she comes back, tell her to call me immediately. Okay, I got it. As soon as possible, please. I will remember that. Don't worry. You are a glutton. Hey, Emily, where's the cake? What cake? The chocolate cake in the fridge. I don't know. It was really hard to buy that cake. I had to queue a very long line this morning. Well, maybe you ate it already and you forgot. Wait, Emily, why are there crumbs under your seat? Did you eat it? Just a little bit. There's nothing left in the fridge. Did you eat all that cake? I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? You are a glutton. It looks so good. I couldn't resist it. Oh my god. I was so excited to eat the cake. You should have left some for me at least. I'm so sorry. When will you reach? Hello, David. Jessica, I'm waiting for you at the station. When will you reach? Oh, I don't know. What? 
You told me that you would reach at 4 p.m. and it's 4.15 p.m. now. Maybe the train will arrive later than I expect. What happened? The train departed 30 minutes late and there was a little problem on the way. It will probably take me about 30 minutes to get there. Oh, that's quite long. You can go to the coffee shop opposite the station and wait for me. Okay, I will wait for you there. Please pay attention to your phone. I need to go home as soon as possible. Don't worry. Call me back. Hello, Ms. Lucy. I'm Daisy from Freestyle Dancing Center. Oh, yeah, what happened? I'm calling you to recommend the dance course for you. Can you spend some minutes, please? Sorry, but please call back later. Oh, sure. I'm going to attend a meeting at my company, and I'm afraid that I can't talk to you now. I see. So when should I call you? I think up to 5 p.m. Is this okay? Sure. I will call you again at that time. Thanks a lot. No problem. Have a nice day. Yeah. The terms were finalized. Hi, this is Sarah from JKH Company. Is this Mr. Alex's phone number? Hello, I'm Alex. Good morning, Mr. Alex. I want to discuss with you a bit about our contract. Sure, but it was agreed last week, wasn't it? Yeah, we have discussed it and come to a conclusion. But today, our company wants to change one of the terms in the contract. What is that? It is the terms of employment. We need more than 500 workers for this project. I think it's hard to change anything in the contract now. The terms were finalized. I know, but this is very important. Can we discuss this again? I need to discuss this with the director. Can I contact you this afternoon? Okay, thank you so much. Improve your handwriting. What are you writing? I can't read it. What do you mean? It's so hard to recognize what word this is. Your handwriting is too bad. No way. Everyone can read it. I don't think so. Improve your handwriting, please. How could I do that? Just practice writing every day. Hmm. I don't think I need to do that. Why? Very rarely do I need to write by hand, usually. I will use the computer or the phone. That's the reason why yours is so bad. Well? Having good handwriting is quite great, or at least readable. Maybe you're right. The matter is clear. Okay, I totally understand. Just a misunderstanding. Are you sure? Yeah. No one wants to be in this situation. Of course. The matter is clear. Alex wanted to help you on the train, but Jenny misunderstood that help, so she thought Alex had bad intentions with her. Right. I just want to help and I'll get caught in the chair behind. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, because I felt him touching my back, but I didn't know, so I shouted. Now everything is clear. Please make peace with each other. Sure, Alex, thank you, and sorry. No problem. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Hannah, I have something to give you. What's that? Nothing much. Oh, it's a little plant. I love it. I'm so glad to hear that. But why did you give me that present? For what occasion? Nothing. You can think of it as a thank you gift for helping me fix my laptop last week. Oh dear, I told you you don't need to buy anything from me. No way. Thank you so much for helping me. Not at all. Thank you for this cute present. I appreciate it. 
I know you like plants and flowers. That's right. It's for the best. How is my Luke? I'm sorry to say this, but I think you should let him go. What do you mean? Please help my Luke. I can't live without him. I know you love Luke so much, but he is too old. We can do nothing. Why can't you give him the same injection as before? He will be fine, right? It's not working anymore, miss. I'm so sorry, but I've tried my best. No, don't say that. Let him go. It's for the best. I don't want... Luke. You can go see him now. (laughs) That sounds like a plan. Hey, Lisa, I need your help with something. What's that? I have a special event coming up and I need to find the perfect outfit. Of course, I'd be happy to give you some advice. What's the event and what kind of outfit are you looking for? It's a cocktail party, so I want something elegant and classy. Well, let's head to the mall and explore some boutique stores. They usually have a great selection of stylish dresses. That sounds like a plan. I appreciate your fashion expertise, Lisa. Look at this gorgeous red dress. The detail is stunning. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Let me try it on. Wow, this dress fits me like a dream. How do I look, Lisa? You look absolutely stunning in it. The style suits you perfectly, and the color really pops. I'm so glad you found this gem. Thank you for your help, Lisa. No problem at all. Now, let's find some accessories to complete the look. Absolutely. A statement necklace and some elegant heels would be the perfect finishing touches. What is your contact number? Are you okay? Why are you in such a hurry? I was parking my car and you crashed into my car like that. I am really sorry. I had to answer an urgent phone call so I didn't know it. Here, my car is distorted. I'm sorry, I will compensate you. Take it to the auto repair shop to repair and I'll pay the full cost. Okay, go with me. Sorry, but I can't go with you now, I have to go. No way, how can I be sure you will make up for it if you go now? Don't worry, what is your contact number? For what? After the car is fixed, contact me. Here's my business card. Okay. Thank you, please help me fix this. I will be there later. What do you want to do? Finally, you did it. Yeah, it feels so comfortable right now. You need a rest. You've practiced so hard for the competition. Definitely. What do you want to do? Let me see. A lot of things. For example... Now, I really want to watch a movie at the cinema. That's easy. Yeah, but I had no time to do it before. When do you want to go? How about this evening? I can't wait. Sure, let me check for tickets. Are you there? Hi, Anna. Are you there? Anna, can you hear me? May I come in? Anna, I'm opening the door. Anna, are you sleeping? No. What happened? Why didn't you answer me? I'm so tired, Sarah. Help me. What? What's wrong with you? I don't know. 
I'm so tired. I can't talk. I can't answer you. You're feverish there. Let me get the thermometer. Can you give me some medicine? I want to sleep. No, you have to go to the hospital. No, I don't want to go to the hospital. You can't stay at home now. You must go. Your handwriting is so bad. What are you doing? I'm doing my homework. What subject? Literature. Great. Let me see it. Sure. What is that? Your handwriting is so bad. I can't read it. Don't worry. I just need to finish it no matter how bad my handwriting is. You can't say that. I always tell you to write carefully. Write it again. But it's time to watch TV. No, you must write again with better handwriting. Okay. What would you like to have? Mom, I got the result of the competition. Really? Is it good? Definitely. I got the first prize. Amazing! You did a great job. I love you. Thank you, Mom. I love you, too. Congratulations. Mom, you said that if I had the prize, you would have a gift for me, right? Sure. What would you like to have? I want to have a model of a car. Which model? Here it is. I love it, and I really want to have it for myself. Hmm, that looks quite cool. I will buy it for you. Yeah, you are the best, Mom. You too. Forget it. Your new house is so big. Yeah, I like open spices, so I found a spacious house. Your orange juice? Thank you. Follow me and I'll show you around. Oh no, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but the cup is broken. Forget it, it's not a big deal. Sorry. Don't worry, let me clean it. Be careful with the shards. Sorry I'm so clumsy. It's fine. Let's go to my reading room. You'll love it. Great, I can't wait. Who are you cooperating with? Jessica, have you decided on the topic for the final assignment yet? Sure. Alice and I have discussed a lot, and we came to a conclusion yesterday. How about you? I wish my teammate could be like yours. What happened? You haven't chosen the topic, have you? No. My teammate seems to be so lazy and not responsible as I expected. Oh. Who are you cooperating with? Katie. Ah, the girl who's always absent from class. Right, I haven't talked to her before. Neither did I, but you should ask her to work with you. I know. I have asked her to discuss this after today's lesson. That's good. Why are you so late? Sorry, Miss Hannah, I'm late. Oh, everyone has finished the test. Oh no. Why are you so late? I was in a situation where I couldn't get to school on time. What is that? On my way to school, I met an old woman who was walking and suddenly fainted. Oh, what happened? I don't know. There wasn't anyone around, so I called and waited for the ambulance to arrive and take her to the hospital. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. 
But after taking her to the hospital, I quickly ran back to school, but it was still late. Okay, don't worry. You did a great job. But I can't do my test. Wendy, I will give you another chance to do a makeup test. Thank you so much, Miss Hannah. I'll think of a workaround. Mr. Rio, there's a problem. What's that? Mrs. Brown can't come in time. What do you mean? What happened? She had an accident on her way coming here. Oh no, is she okay? Yeah, she said she was okay, but she couldn't come here. But the problem is that she is the person who will present our project. How awful it is. But it's okay. I'll think of a workaround. But who will present the project? Me. I have discussed this with Sarah a lot about this project. I fully understand every detail. Really? Well, that's the only way now. Go down. Where are you, Jessica? I'm here, Dad. What are you doing? Can you see me? Get down, now. I reminded you that you need to be careful at home. You know how dangerous it is. But I want to slide. Stairs are not slides. You could get injured. I'm sorry. If I don't get home in time, are you going to slide down from there? Uh, no. Never do that again. Keep it in mind. I know, Dad. It doesn't matter. Have you heard anything about Alice? Alice, what happened to her? Come here, I will tell you some shocking news. Julia, do you want to hear? Well, it's none of my business. But it's very intense news. No, that's someone else's story. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't think you should talk behind other people's backs, either. That is their problem. We should focus on our work. You're so strange. Whatever. It's a life lesson that I have accumulated. Plucking flowers is prohibited. Oh my god, do you know what kind of flower it is? Wow, it's so beautiful, but I don't know its name. I want to plant it in my garden. You can buy the seeds and grow them. I have an easier way. What's that? Take a flower here and plant them. No, you can't do that. Plucking flowers is prohibited. Well, no one needs to know about it. There are cameras in the park, or someone might pass by and see you do that. But I really want it, and I don't know its name. You can take a picture of it and search later. Oh my, why didn't I come up with that? That's smart, girl. Always. We both like each other. Anna, why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? Why are you hiding such important news from me? What did I hide from you? Are you and Alex officially dating? Ah, that's right. Oh, God, tell me. Yeah, we both like each other and we really want to have an official relationship. Wow, unbelievable. I haven't known anything. We just started about a few weeks ago. You should have told me. Let's hang out this weekend. I'll tell you more.
What's your phone number? Hi, Sarah. Remember this afternoon we have a lesson with Mr. David? Oh, God, I nearly forgot that. Thank you. Well, I know you won't remember. Please call me about 15 minutes before class. For what? I will take a short nap after lunch, but I'm afraid I'll oversleep. I got it. What's your phone number? Are you kidding me? Don't you have my phone number? I changed my phone two days ago. I haven't saved anyone's numbers yet. Oh, is that so? <laughs> my bad. Now give me your phone number. Here you are. Remember to call me. Don't worry. A set of books is on the table. Are you home now? Sure. Today I'm not going to school. That's great. Can you help me? Of course. What's that? I forgot the gift for my friend at home, and I can't come back to take it. Can you find it and send it to me? Okay, but where did you put it? Ah, and what's the gift? My friend likes books, and I bought some books for her. Great. Did you put the books in your room? Right. Yes. A set of books is on the table in my room. Okay, so how can I send it to you? I asked a friend to come over to take it. Give it to her later. I got it. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Have you gone to see the doctor? Your health is not good lately. I have, but I haven't got the results. When did you go? Yesterday. What did you do in the hospital? Just follow the doctor's advice. I did all the tests the doctor asked for. Okay, but did the doctor have any diagnosis? Well, he said that he was not sure. I hope it will not be any disease that can't be cured. Of course, don't worry. May God bless you. Thank you. He said that this afternoon I should come back to receive the result. Do you want me to go with you? If you can go with me, that would be great. Okay, I will go with you. This is not fair. Peter, look. Oh my god, a set of Legos. That's right. But where did you get it? Mom bought it for me. Why did Mom buy it for you? Well, because I deserve it. Ha ha ha. No way. I will ask Mom. Mom, why does Henry have a new set of Legos? He said that you bought it for him. Right. But why? I like it also, but you didn't buy it for me. This is not fair. No, Peter. It's just his award because of his good grades. But I also want to have it. Okay. If you are a good boy and study well, I'll buy you a set of Legos. I will. Trust me. I hate you. I have nothing to say to you now. Anna, listen to me. You must calm down first. If you keep being like that, we can't talk. I don't need to talk with someone who betrayed me. I didn't, and I will never betray you. Daisy and I are just friends, just colleagues. How can I believe that while I saw you drive her home? I just helped her because her car was broken. But you didn't tell me about it. Are you trying to hide it? Anna, it's just a normal thing. Don't you think so? No, I hate you. Go away. Please. You need to calm down and listen to me. Nope, don't need it. You can go with her. I don't care. I did not understand.
Mom, please close your eyes. Close my eyes? For what? Just do it, please. Trust me. But why? I did not understand. I'm cooking. I want you to see something. What is that? You make me so curious. No, Mom. It's a small surprise. Okay. Open your eyes, Bob. Oh my God, a cake. I made it myself as your gift for Mother's Day. Oh, my sweetie. Thank you so much. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Where are you from? Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Alex. Where are you from? Can you guess? Uh, Germany. Oh, how can you know that? Oh, am I right? Yeah, I'm from Germany. Have you ever been there? You know, I spent two weeks in Germany enjoying my summer holiday, and your country is fantastic. Thanks. Where are you from? I'm from France. And I haven't been there. I wish I could visit your country once. Hope so, but the best time to visit France is not now. The weather is not suitable for sightseeing. I will add it to my bucket list. You will have a great time there. I believe that. I got it. Mr. David, you have a meeting in 10 minutes. Miss Sarah, I forgot to tell you, but please cancel the meeting for me. Oh, what happened? I have to go home now. My family has some problems. I mean, my son. I have to go. I got it. Help me rearrange it with the clients. Yes, I will inform you later. And the documents and reports. You tell the departments to send me via email. I will check them. I remember. Do you need me to call the driver? No, I will drive myself. Yes. If there's something you can handle, just do it yourself, or you can call me. I understand, sir. I wish you well. Thank you for being here with me. Don't say that, Lucy. Come on, don't cry. I don't want you to go, but I can't keep you here. I will come back soon. It's only two years. Normally we are always together. It has been more than 10 years. Now you're studying abroad. I don't know what to do without you. You're gonna be all right, I believe that. You are strong. If you keep crying, I won't be able to go. Okay. Go ahead. It's nearly late. I know. I will call you regularly. I wish you well. Remember to take care of your health and do not study too late. Don't take a bath at night. Do you remember? I remember. Goodbye. Bye. Don't cry. I will be back soon. Everything is fine. Henry? Hi, Mom. How's it going? Are you okay? Don't worry, Mom. I'm 15 years old. I know, but everything is fine. Okay. Tell me what you have done today when you're at home. I did all the housework that you told me to. I took out the trash, mopped the floor, and cleaned the bookshelves, too. That's good. I already had prepared all the food in the fridge. You shouldn't order food to eat. But Dad has agreed with me to order pizza for dinner. Oh, dear. I told your father not to do that. Just once, Mom. Okay. And don't forget to finish your homework before going to bed. Yes, Mom.
Are you kidding? Where are you? On my bed in my room. What's up? Why are you still at home? Oh my god. Hey, what's wrong? Don't tell me you forgot our date today. No, our date is tomorrow. You can't be serious. It's today, right now. No way. It's Friday already. That's right. It's today. We plan to go to the movie and have dinner. Oh, God. I thought it was only Thursday today. I am at the movie theater and you forgot the date. Are you kidding? I'm so sorry, Mina. I'll be right there. You have 20 minutes. We'll probably miss the first part of the movie. Guess that won't be too important. But I want to watch it. Hurry. I know. I'm trying my best. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. You look so happy and full of energy every morning, Julia. Why not? Every day is a new beginning. I like your optimism. I am an optimist. Have you ever woken up feeling upset or having bad energy or something like that? Rarely, to be honest. Only when I can't sleep at night. I often have insomnia. I don't know why or how to solve it. I rarely lose sleep, but sometimes, when it's too stressful, I can't sleep at night and the next morning is a nightmare for me. Exactly. You can drink a glass of hot milk. It is quite effective for those who suffer from insomnia. Really? I will try it. Sure. Thank you, Julia. I dropped in casually. Where did you buy this beautiful dress, Anna? H&M store. And you know what? I got it at the 60% sale off price. Oh my God, really? Why did you know about the sale in this store? Actually, I dropped in casually when I went to the mall yesterday with my mom. You are so lucky. Right. I saw the announcement of the end of season sale of up to 60% and went in to try it. There were so many beautiful things there. I know. Their products are very good quality, but the price is quite expensive. But if you buy it at the sale price, it's quite affordable. That's right. I wish I could be lucky like you. You can go to see it. There are still lots of products, including clothes and accessories. Okay, I will go after work. Daily exercise helps you be fit and healthy. Hey, Hannah, after a summer holiday, you look so great. Really? How? You look like you've changed a lot. I mean, your body. I'm so happy to hear that. How can you do that? Oh, exercise regularly. Really? Sure. Daily exercise helps you be fit and healthy. You know, I have tried that way to lose weight for a month, but I found it not useful. No, Anna. You think it's not useful because you haven't been patient with it enough. You need to do it every day or at least five days a week. And for at least three months, you'll see a noticeable change in your body. Maybe you're right. I will try it again. I hope it can help me keep in shape. Yes, you can do it. God bless you. Why don't you wear a coat? I think it's not too cold. No way! Today is cold. Ah, choo! Ah, choo! God bless you. Thank you. See? You should wear more clothes. How can you wear just one shirt to the street? I thought the weather was warm. No way! If you don't keep your body warm, you'll get the flu. I know. I have a coat in my car. Wait for me to get it for you. Thank you so much. Not at all.
I do not understand. Why did John refuse to travel with us? I do not understand why he did that. I know, I know. Really? Why? He had a conflict with Alex and they haven't resolved it yet. Oh, man. So he refuses to come with us? Yes, because he knew Alex was with us. He acted like a child. So why did they quarrel with each other? Well, I'm not sure. Only insiders can understand the story. Maybe we should ask Alex. Yeah, then we can help them solve their problems. That sounds better. Let's ask Alex. Enjoy yourself. I'm so excited about my first trip to Russia. Well, I have been there once. How is the country? I have to say that it is really beautiful. No words can describe how amazing the view is. Oh, really? You make me even more excited about this trip. Will you travel for a week? Yeah, about seven to ten days. Got it. Who will you go with? With my parents, of course. I don't have much money like that, you know. That's great. Enjoy yourself. Sure. Didn't you go to the cinema yesterday? How was the movie, Anna? The movie? I didn't watch any movies. Really? Didn't you go to the cinema yesterday? No, Emily. Yesterday I worked overtime at the company till 10 p.m. How can I go to the cinema? Oh, so I am mistaken you for someone else. Have you seen anyone who looks like me? Right. A girl has the same height as you, the same hair color and style. Wow. I didn't know there was someone like me. Yeah. I thought it was you because you usually finish your work at six and you sometimes go to the cinema. That's right. But not yesterday. Okay, I got it. What movies did you watch? Spider-Man. Was it great? Sure. You should go see it. May you succeed, may you be successful. I have heard that you will join a singing competition. Exactly. What's its name? Do you know The Voice? You will join The Voice? Wow, that's amazing. I just want to try it once because you know, singing is always my dream. I want to pursue it as my passion. Great, keep it up. I think you are good enough to join. Well, I know there are a lot of others who are better than me, but I still want to try. Yeah, why not? I guess you can be chosen by at least two judges. You're so funny. Being on stage is enough for me, but if that thing happens, it will be a big chance for me. Try your best. When will you go to the competition? Next week. May you be successful. Thank you. It's my pleasure. How can I help you? I want to find a dress that is suitable for a special occasion. Can I know which occasion? It's my best friend's wedding. I see. Do you have a dress code? Sure. Black and white. That's great. Let me see. Here. I think you will look so stunning when you wear this one. Oh, no. I'm afraid that I can't dress up too outstandingly. You know, the main event is my friend. I got it. How about this one? It's black. It looks elegant. Do you have a short sleeve one? Let me check. Yeah, luckily we have one left in size small. That's great. Can I try it? Sure. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure.
please come as soon as possible. Miss Sarah, where are you? I'm on the way, Mr. Alex. Oh, dear. How long until you arrive? I'm not sure because there's a traffic jam. It's so heavy. Mr. Henry and I are on the way to the airport, but we can't move. Is it because it's raining cats and dogs? Right. So I don't know when we can come to pick you up. I'm still waiting for you in the coffee shop at the airport. I'm afraid that we can't come back on time for the meeting with our partners. Please come as soon as possible. Yes, the weather forecast says the rain lasts for another 15 minutes. I hope I can come soon. Hope so. He became bankrupt. Hey, have you heard about Henry? Henry, our neighbor. That's right. No, what's up? He became bankrupt. Bankrupt? His own company? Yeah, I've heard that he established his own company when he was in university. It's been about seven years now. But what happened? But these days, his company hasn't run smoothly anymore. He owed the banks, but he couldn't sign any new contract. What's he gonna do? I heard that he's going to sell his house to pay the debt. Oh, what a pity for him. I hope he can get over his shock and start again. I will try my level best. Don't be so pressured, Anna. Miss Lucy, I am quite nervous. I understand how nervous you feel because I do too. What should I do? Listen to me. I know this presentation is so important. You have prepared so much for this day. But you need to relax yourself. Take it easy. Don't panic. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. That's good. I know there are still a lot of chances, but I have to take any of them. Right, so there is no reason to worry so much. Okay, I will try my level best. Just do that. You are so brave in my eyes. Thank you, Miss Lucy. What nonsense. You know what? What's that? Henry and Anna broke up. What? Are you kidding me? Nope, Julia. Henry has just told me. But why? It's so silly, in my opinion. Anna got angry because Henry forgot to reply to her messages, and she said she wanted to break up. And? Unexpectedly, Henry agreed, so they broke up. Oh, God, how can that happen? What nonsense. I couldn't understand anything either. Just the other day, they were madly in love, and today they broke up for such a silly reason. Don't be ridiculous. Dad, so my birthday is coming. Yeah. May I tell you what I have been desiring for my birthday present? Well, that's okay. I can give you your present in advance. Really? That's amazing, Dad. As long as it's reasonable. But what do you want to buy? Can you buy me a car? What? A car? Yes, Dad. None of my friends have a car. I will be the coolest if I have one. There are reasons why they don't have one. You haven't graduated from high school. You can't drive yet. But, listen to me, Rio. When you are old enough and have a driving license, we will consider it again. I understand, Dad. Every moment weighed heavily on him. What's wrong with Tom? <laughs> These days, he hasn't kept in touch with me. You don't know why? What happened? He's having a hard time. I heard nothing from him. 
His company went bankrupt last year due to the pandemic situation, and this year he just divorced his wife. Oh my God. Every moment weighed heavily on him. What is he doing now? He works at a construction company to earn a living and raise his son. Sad. What do you want from me? Mommy, today you look so beautiful. What's that? Why do you say that today? Is it normal that I'm not pretty? No way! I mean, you look so great in this dress. Sounds strange. What do you want from me? Do you want me to do something for you? You know me so well. Sure. Mom, can you allow me to go camping for two days with my friends? Who are they? Alex and Robert. You know both of them. Why not? Going camping is interesting. And can you give me some money to prepare or buy things? This seems to be the main purpose. Come with me. Anna, where are you now? What's wrong? Why is your voice so sad? I broke up with Alex. <gasps> oh no, when? Today. I'm so sorry to hear that. Where are you? I'm just at home. Come with me, please. I need you. I want to cry. Okay, I will come now. Don't cry, babe. Yeah. Do you want something? Snacks or bubble tea? I just need you to be here with me. I have to leave early today. Julia, ugh, why do you get up so early? Oh, sorry, Anna. I woke you up. No problem. What time is it? Just 5 a.m. You should go back to sleep. But why do you get up so early? Ah, uh, today my company has an important meeting. I am in charge of this meeting, so I have to leave early today. I got it. You should brush your teeth and get dressed. I will make breakfast for you. You were so sweet. Thank you so much. Not at all. I know you were too lazy to make breakfast yourself. Right. Work is important, but so is your health. I know, I know. You're talking like my mother. Both of us care for you. He had a narrow escape. Do you know what happened to Alex and me yesterday? What was that? Do you know Mr. Henry's apple tree next to our house? Of course, it's fruitful, but he's too difficult, so I don't dare to ask. Yes, yesterday we stole some from his tree. Oh my God, how could you do that? Well, and he knew that. How did he react? Actually... He didn't know exactly that we stole them, but the dog at his gate barked loudly, and he ran out. And? I ran first. How about Alex? He had a narrow escape. What are your likes and dislikes? It's hard to please a girlfriend. What's up? Well, it's nearly my girlfriend's birthday, and I don't know what I should buy for her. Oh. And of course, she doesn't tell me what she likes or dislikes, so I have to guess at that. Poor guy. What are your likes and dislikes? As a girl, the thing that we like most is clothes or makeup stuff. 
Really? Yeah. And the dislikes? Let me see. What's that? Oh, it's so hard. It really depends on the characteristics. About me, I hate flowers. Oh, dear. What are you talking about? Have you finished the quiz and assignment that Ms. Hannah gave us? Quiz and assignment? What are you talking about? Don't you know that? Yeah, where are they? She has updated her post on MS Teams for us to do the quiz and assignment instead of going to class. What? Why did I know nothing? How can I know? Do you read the notices often? No, I just knew we wouldn't have to go to school. I didn't know there was homework. Oh my god. When is the deadline? Tuesday. Today is Sunday. I think I can deal with that. Yeah, it's kind of easy. Luckily, you told me that. Join me. Today I have to participate in a seminar. About what? A seminar combined with charitable donations. That's great. Everyone can join and there's buffet service too. Really? Are you free today? Join me. Can I? Sure. I've heard that there are a lot of famous speakers at this seminar. Sounds great. What time will it start? 3 p.m. Okay, let me join. I have no alternative. Why are you at the hotel? I have no alternative. What do you mean? I don't understand. The thing is, yesterday my place had a plumbing problem, so I had to move out for a few days. But I can't go to my parents' house because I have to go to work early. I got it. Your parents' house is so far from here. How about staying at Jenny's house? She also lives alone. I called her, but she didn't answer. It was almost nighttime, so I couldn't go anywhere else. Okay, I see. You can come to my house. Really? Sure. Fortunately, my house is quite close to your company, so it is convenient for you to go to work. It's so nice of you to say that. Nothing much. I feel much better. Julia, that's great to see you back. I have come back to my normal life. How are you now? I feel much better. Is that true? Sure, I overcame him. I'm happy to hear that. You know, now I think we've already broken up and I have no reason to be angry anymore about him. Right. He will have his retribution for what he did to me. You are even stronger than I expected. Circumstances make me strong. I have to be strong. Do I have to? I have something to tell you. Yes, Mr. Alex? About your assignments last week. Have you finished grading them? I have, and you have to do them again. <gasps> what? Why is that, Mr. Alec? I found many parts with the same content among groups. I can tell they are all copied. So I will cancel all of them and you will do another one. Oh no. And this time, each group will have their own topic. 
I will prepare new topics for you. Please help me inform the class about this. Yes, Mr. Alex. The examination is on my mind. You look so stressed these days. Is your work so busy? Kind of. What's that? My school is holding an examination to assess students' abilities, and the examination is on my mind. Ah, I see. So do you need to prepare the questions for them? Yeah, with a teacher. Well, so I think the workload is quite heavy. That's right, but it's quite interesting. I have found out a lot of new information and updated all of it. Good. What do you know about him? So, have you met the new guy in the office yet? Yeah, I bumped into him at the coffee machine. What's he like? Seems cool. Quiet, maybe. But it was just a quick hello. What else do you know about him? Not much. Just that he moved here from out west. Out west? Like California? I think so. He mentioned surfing during the intro. Interesting. Did he say why he moved? Not really. Just something about a fresh start. Sounds mysterious. Maybe a little. He seems to keep to himself. Have you worked with him yet? No, but I've seen him around the office. I wonder what he's working on. Not sure. He's in a different department, isn't he? Yeah, he's with the design team, I think. You're curious about him, huh? Just trying to get to know the people I work with. Fair enough. I guess we'll find out more at the team lunch. Yeah, I'll try to sit next to him, see what's up. Good luck with that. He's a bit of an enigma. Enigma or not, everyone opens up eventually. We'll see. Anyway, gotta get back to work. Yeah, talk to you later. See you at the lunch. Definitely. I'm on a mission now. Mission accepted, Agent Emma. Haha, <laughs> don't tease, but I'll report back. Looking forward to it. Bye. Bye. College dorm essentials. So, have you packed everything for the dorm? Almost. I think I'm forgetting something. Did you pack the essentials, like bedding and towels? Yes, those are packed, but it feels like I'm missing something important. How about your toiletries? Toothbrush, shampoo, all that stuff. Got them, and I've got my laundry basket. Don't forget a desk lamp. You'll need good lighting. Desk lamp. Ah, that's what I was forgetting. See, I knew you were missing something. Thanks for that. What about snacks? Can't survive without those. Definitely bring some. Oh, and a water bottle. Stay hydrated. Water bottle, got it. What else? Maybe some pictures from home to decorate your space. Good idea. It'll make the place feel less empty. And don't forget your chargers. You don't want your phone dying on the first day. Chargers, right. Thanks for the reminder. How about a small first aid kit, just in case? That's dramatic, but practical. I'll add that to the list. And don't forget some comfy shoes for walking around campus. Got my sneakers, so I'm all set. Seems like you're just about ready then. Yeah, thanks to you. College, here I come. Just wait until you have to cook for yourself. That'll be the real challenge. Cook? I thought that's what the cafeteria was for. 
You'll get tired of cafeteria food real fast, trust me. Maybe you can teach me some of your recipes then. Sure, if you don't burn down the kitchen first. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a quick learner. We'll see about that. Good luck, Jake. Thanks, Emily. I might need it. Cloth materials. Do you know anything about cloth materials? Just the basics. Why? I'm trying to pick a fabric for my new dress. What clothing options do you have? Silk, cotton, and polyester. Silk is fancy, isn't it? Yes, but it's also delicate and hard to maintain. How about cotton? It's comfy, but it wrinkles easily. And polyester? It's durable, but not as breathable. Sounds like a tough choice. I want something that looks good and feels good. Maybe a blend, like cotton silk. That could work. It's soft and less wrinkly. But will it last? Not as long as polyester, for sure. You might have to compromise somewhere. Oh, I guess so. Maybe I'll get two dresses instead. That's the spirit. Double the fun. And double the trouble deciding. You'll figure it out. You always do. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Anytime. Let's go fabric shopping. Oh, you're coming with? Of course. I need to see this epic decision-making in action. Well, let's hope it's epic in a good way. It sure is. Buying sheets and bedding. I can't believe how many options there are. I know, right? Choosing sheets should be simple. What's the difference between Egyptian cotton and regular cotton? I think Egyptian cotton is supposed to be softer. But there's like a $200 difference. Is it really that much better? Maybe it's one of those luxury things. Luxury or not, I just want something that feels nice. What about thread count? They say the higher the better. Do you really believe that? I can't even tell the difference. Not sure, but let's check out these 800 thread count ones. They do feel pretty nice, but look at this pattern. That's colorful. Very loud. Too much for me. I prefer something more subtle. Here's a nice one. Simple, high thread count, and soft. And it's on sale. That's my favorite feature. It's like it was made for you. Don't jinx it. Let's grab it before someone else does. Do we need matching pillowcases? Might as well. It's all about the aesthetic, right? We're going to have the best dressed bed in town. As long as it's comfortable, I'm happy. Comfortable and stylish. We've got this. Thanks for helping me decide, by the way. Anytime. Shopping is more fun with a friend. Should we look at comforters, too? Definitely. Let's go all out and make it a set. This could be a dangerous habit. <laughs> Only for our wallets. Let's do this. I'm ready for a bed makeover. Lead the way. The Autumn Fashion Collection Did you see the new Autumn Fashion Collection? Yeah, I caught a glimpse. Lots of bold colors this year. I love the use of deep reds and oranges. It's like wearing the fall leaves. Not sure if I can pull off such bright colors, though. 
Come on with your complexion. You'd look great in a burnt orange jacket. That dramatic? Maybe I'll stick to my grays and blues. Drama is in. Fashion is all about making a statement these days. I suppose you're right. What did you think about the patterns? The geometric shapes are a bit out there for me, but they're interesting. I guess fashion is supposed to challenge us, huh? Exactly. It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone. Well, if that's the case, maybe I'll give that orange jacket a try. Yes, that's the spirit. I can't wait to see it. What about you? Which piece was your favorite? I'm in love with the layered skirts. They're so flowy and fun. Sounds like your wardrobe is about to get more vibrant. Oh, definitely. I'm ready to embrace all the autumn vibes. All right, I'm convinced. Let's go on a shopping spree. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's do it. Christmas Day Preparation Can you believe Christmas is just around the corner? I know, it's crazy. Have we got everything ready? Well, the tree's up, but we still need to wrap the gifts. And the lights? You know how I love those twinkling lights. Yep, I put them up yesterday. They're looking good. What about the Christmas dinner? Please tell me you remembered the turkey. Of course I did, and all the trimmings, but... But what? You're scaring me. I forgot the cranberry sauce. Christmas is ruined. Ruined? Oh, come on. It's just a sauce. Just sauce? It's like the soul of Christmas dinner. All right, all right. I'll go get some. Anything else? Hmm. Maybe some more decorations. And don't forget the eggnog. Got it. I'll be back in a minute. And remember... Not too much nutmeg in the eggnog. Okay, okay, less nutmeg. And Bob, try not to get distracted by the Christmas sales. Me? Distracted? Never. Just teasing. I trust you. But seriously, hurry. On my way. Christmas will be perfect. Don't worry. Oh, and get some extra batteries for the Christmas lights, just in case. Batteries? Check. Anything else, madam? Yes. Could you pick up Aunt Mary from the airport? Her flight lands at four. Wait, today? But that's in two hours. I know, I know. It's a bit last minute. A bit? Okay, I'll make it happen. You're the best, Bob. And I'll make sure the house looks festive. No problem, but I'll need a big slice of that pumpkin pie as a reward. It's a deal. Safe driving, and watch out for the crazy holiday traffic. Will do. See you soon with all the Christmas goodies. Can't wait. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Merry early Christmas. A shopping spree. So, where to first? Shoes or clothes? Definitely shoes. I need some new kicks. Oh, I saw some cute boots on sale last week. Boots? But I have nothing to wear with boots. We'll go for clothes later, silly. All right, boots. Let's check them out. Look at these. Half off. Nice, but I can't imagine you in those. Why not? I can rock any style. It's just, they're so glittery. Glitter is life, Sarah. If you say so. Ooh, what about these sneakers? Not bad, but look at that color. Too loud for me. I love it. It screams confidence. Okay, you get those. I'll stick with my boots. Deal. Now, clothes? Yes, there's a sale at my favorite store. Lead the way.
this dress. Isn't it gorgeous? It's something. You don't like it. It's just so bright. You'll be seen from a mile away. That's the point, Sarah. Well, it's definitely you. Let's find something for you now. What's your style? I don't know. Casual? Comfy? Casual and comfy it is. This shirt looks cozy. And it's 70% off. Now that's a deal. I'll take it. Now, let's get some jewelry. Great. I could use a new necklace. These are lovely. Wow, look at that price tag, though. Maybe just one won't hurt. That's how it starts. What's life without a little splurge? True. Let's wrap this up. I'm starving. Shopping makes me hungry, too. Let's get some food. Best part of the day. I could eat a horse. Let's not do that. How about sushi? Perfect. Shopping and sushi, what could be better? A successful shopping spree, I'd say. I can't wait to do this again. Next month? It's a date. American football. Man. That last game was rough. Yeah, but we gotta shake it off. Next game is in a week. I just can't believe I fumbled the ball at the last minute. It happens to the best of us. Don't sweat it. But we were so close to winning. Close doesn't count in football, man. We need to do better. I know. Next time I'll secure the ball better. That's the spirit. And I need to improve my throws. Think coach will make us run extra laps for that mistake? Probably. But we'll run them together. Great. Just what I need. Hey, look on the bright side. It's good conditioning. You always find the silver lining, huh? Someone has to. We're a team, right? Right. I guess I just hate letting the team down. You didn't let anyone down. We win and lose as a team. Thanks, man. I'll try not to dwell on it. Good. Now let's work on those plays. I've been thinking about trying a new position. Really? What position? Maybe wide receiver? I've got the speed for it. True, you do. But do you have the hands? I guess that's what I need to prove. That's the right attitude. Let's pitch it to the coach. You think he'll go for it? Can't know unless we ask. All right. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Great. And I'll back you up. Thanks. I need all the support I can get. We're in this together. Now let's head home. Lead the way, Captain. After you, future wide receiver. <laughs> let's go. A spa day. I can't believe we're finally doing this. A full spa day. I know, right? We deserve this after such a stressful month. What are you getting done first? Definitely a massage. My shoulders are a wreck. Oh, same here. But I'm thinking about starting with a facial. A facial sounds divine, but I heard the hot stone massage here is amazing. Do you think they'll let us do both at the same time? Maybe if we ask nicely. Let's do it. After all, it's our day. Right. No holding back. It's all about pampering. What about this steam room? Are you in? Oh, definitely. I need to sweat out this stress. And maybe a manicure after that? I saw they have a new autumn color collection. Oh, count me in. 
I love a good seasonal theme. Me too. I'm thinking about a deep red or a burnt orange. Both sound gorgeous. Maybe I'll do one of each. A little mix and match, huh? I like it. Life's too short for just one nail color. True that. And after the nails, we should hit the jacuzzi. Yes! Jacuzzi with a glass of champagne? Oh, you're speaking my language now. Only the best for us today. We'll lounge like queens. Queens of the spa. Wait, did you bring your swimsuit for the jacuzzi? Oh no, I completely forgot. Drama begins. Do they sell them here? I hope so. Otherwise, I'll be soaking in my clothes. That would be a sight. Come on, let's ask at reception. Hope they have my size. And in a color that matches your soon-to-be autumn nails. You know, this is turning into quite an adventure. Every good spa day has a little bit of drama. It's the rule. Well, as long as it ends with us relaxed and beautified, I'm okay with that. And don't forget, we're doing this every month. It's a new tradition. Absolutely. Monthly spa days are now sacred. Workplace Conflict I can't believe she just took credit for my project. Calm down, John. What exactly happened? During the meeting, Linda presented my analysis as hers. Did you talk to her about this? No, I was too shocked. And now everyone thinks she's the brain. You need to address this, John. You can't let it slide. But how? I don't want to start a conflict at work. Just talk to her privately. Explain how you feel. And if she denies it? Then you bring it up to the manager. I guess you're right. I can't let this go. You worked hard, John. Stand up for yourself. All right. I'll talk to her today. Good. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for the advice, Emily. I appreciate it. Anytime, John. That's what friends are for. What if she gets angry? Stay professional, no matter what. All right. Wish me luck. You won't need luck. You're in the right. Here goes nothing. You've got this, John. Work from home. How's the work from home life treating you? It's okay, I guess. But honestly, I miss the office. Really? I thought you'd love working in your pajamas. Yeah, that part is nice. But I miss people, you know? I get that. Zoom meetings aren't the same. Not at all. And my cat is not a great co-worker. <laughs> Doesn't help with the reports, huh? Nope. Just walks all over my keyboard. Classic cat move. How's your project going? Slow. Hard to focus at home. Tell me about it. I miss the office coffee. Oh, the coffee. Yes, my homemade one is just not the same. Do you have a routine to stay productive? Trying to, but it's hard with the TV tempting me. I put mine in the closet. Best decision ever. Maybe I should do that. Worth a try. How do you handle distractions? I have a strict schedule. Work, break, work. Sounds disciplined. I need some of that. It's not easy, but it helps. Do you dress up when you work? I heard it helps. Sometimes. It does make a difference. Might try that tomorrow. Maybe I'll feel a bit more productive. Oh, and remember to stand up and stretch. Right. Don't want to become a couch potato. Exactly. And how about your team? Keeping in touch? We do weekly virtual lunches. It's something. That sounds fun. Might suggest that to my team. 
Definitely helps with the team spirit. I'll try that. Thanks for the tip. No problem. We've got to stick together, right? Absolutely. Hey, ever have work from home dreams? All the time. Dreamt I was late for a Zoom call in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I had one where my cat gave a presentation. Wow. That's a dream team. Definitely. We'll get through this. For sure. And when we're back at the office, first coffee is on me. Deal. Looking forward to that. Same here. Stay safe and sane, all right? Will do. Talk to you later, Jamie. Catch you later, Alex. Black Friday Shopping Who's ready for Black Friday shopping? Me? I've been waiting all year for this. What's on your list? A new laptop, some clothes, maybe a coffee maker. You? I'm aiming for a big TV and some video games. We should hit the electronics aisles first. Good idea. It's always crowded. And then the clothing stores? Yeah. I need a new jacket, too. Oh no, I forgot my wallet at home. Seriously? That's not good. Can I borrow some from you? I'll pay you right back when we get home. No problem. We're in this together. Thanks, Alex. You're a lifesaver. Let's make this the best Black Friday ever. Deal. First stop, electronics. Hope we find some good deals. Wow, this place is crowded. Indeed, but it'll be worth it. Let's stick to the plan and stay focused. Right, no distractions. I see the TVs over there. And the laptops are just beside them. Perfect. This TV is a great deal. And this laptop is exactly what I need. Quick, let's grab them before they're gone. Got my laptop. You got the TV? Yeah, exactly the one I want. We make a good team, don't we? The best. Now, to the clothing stores. I hope the lines aren't as long there. This jacket looks nice on you. Thanks. You found some good clothes, too. Yeah, Black Friday success. We did it. Now, let's go home and relax. I can't wait to try out my new stuff. Me, too. Thanks for being an awesome shopping buddy. Anytime. Let's do this again next year. It's a date, Black Friday tradition. Healthy lifestyle. I've been thinking about starting a healthy lifestyle. Really? What made you decide that? I read an article about how it improves your mood and energy. That's true. I've been trying to eat healthier, too. Really? What kind of changes have you made? Well, I started by cutting down on sugar and processed foods. Oh, that sounds tough. Was it hard to adjust? At first, yes. But now I feel so much better. I'm thinking of joining a gym, too. That's a great idea. Exercise is key to a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, but I'm not sure where to start. How about starting with some light cardio, like walking or cycling? That sounds doable. I'll give it a try. And don't forget about hydration. Drinking water is important. Right, water. I usually forget to drink enough. Try carrying a water bottle with you. It helps me a lot. I'll do that. Thanks for the tips, Emily. No problem. It's good to have a buddy on this journey. Yeah, we can motivate each other. Exactly. Here's to our healthy lifestyle. Do you have any favorite healthy recipes? Yes. I love making smoothies with fruits and veggies. That sounds good. I need to try that. And what about snacks? Do you have any healthy snack ideas? Not really. I usually just grab chips or something. 
How about trying nuts or fruit instead? They're much healthier. Good idea. I'll have to remember that next time I'm shopping. Also, it's not just about food. Getting enough sleep is important too. True. I've been staying up too late recently. Try setting a regular bedtime. It helps with your overall health. I guess you're right. I'll try that. And don't forget, it's okay to have cheat days sometimes. <gasps> cheat days? Yes, a day when you can eat something not so healthy. It's all about balance. Got it. A little indulgence is okay, huh? Exactly. And if you need any more tips, just ask. Thanks, Emily. I feel more confident about this now. You're welcome. Let's check in with each other about our progress. Sounds like a plan. Here's to a healthier us. Cheers to that. Cosmetic. Have you seen the new makeup line from Gloss Glam? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's amazing. They have some vibrant lipsticks and super smooth foundations. Sounds cool, but I'm more into natural makeup, you know? Yes, but sometimes a little drama in your look can be fun. I guess, but I don't want to look too flashy. Trust me, you can be dramatic yet classy with these. All right, maybe I'll give it a try. What's special about them? They have a new formula that's kind to your skin and long-lasting. That sounds promising. How about their eyeshadows? The eyeshadows, oh, they're like a dream. So many colors and they blend so well. I do need a new eyeshadow palette. Maybe I'll check it out. You should. And let's not forget their highlighters. They're literally glowing. I love a good highlighter. Do they have subtle shades? Yes, from subtle glow to full-on shimmer. It's perfect for any look. That's great. I'm excited to try them now. Let's go shopping this weekend. We can explore the whole range together. I'd love that. It's a date then. Absolutely. And maybe we can grab some lunch too. Makeup and lunch? Sounds like a perfect day. Do you think they'll have any discounts or promotions? Maybe. Gloss Glam often has weekend sales. Oh, that would be amazing. I love a good deal. Who doesn't? And I heard they're eco-friendly, too. That's important. I try to support sustainable brands. Me, too. It's good to be conscious about our choices. Definitely. I can't wait to see what they have. And we can try different looks on each other. Oh, yes, a mini makeover session. It's a plan. I'm already excited about the eyeshadows. A fishing day. Can't believe we're finally going fishing. Me neither. It's going to be a great day. Did you bring the bait and tackle? Yes, it's all in the bag. But, uh, I forgot to buy sunscreen. Sunscreen? Emma, it's crucial for a day like this. I know, I know. I'm sorry. We can buy some on the way, right? Yeah, we'll stop at the convenience store. Did you pack the sandwiches? Sandwiches, chips, and drinks. All set. Great. Let's not forget the fishing license this time. Don't worry. I double-checked. We're all good. Perfect. I'm feeling lucky today. Maybe I'll catch the big one. As long as it's bigger than last time, right? Hey, that was just a warm-up. Sure, a warm-up. Let's see if you can do better this time. Challenge accepted. And what if I do catch a big one? Hmm, I'll cook it for dinner. But if it's small, you're cooking. Deal. Let's get going. The fish won't wait. Right behind you. Today is going to be fun. Just remember, it's all about patience. And good company. We have both, so we're set.
That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.